there's a good chance you're not actually performing the right amount of repetitions or sets for your goal. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why. Most of us, when we've headed to the gym, spoken to a gym instructor, 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 or a personal trainer, you've been told that you need to be doing three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. Well, interestingly, it depends on your goal. Now, some of us will know that power training, strength training, endurance training, all have different amounts of repetitions and sets recommended. Just to quickly revise those, if you're looking for some power gains, you don't need to be spending all of your time at really high repetitions. We should be actually looking for about five, six sets worth of three to five repetitions. The same kind of principles apply for strength. Strength, however, we can decrease those repetitions even further. When we're looking at muscular hypertrophy, so building muscle mass, we've usually thought about three to four sets eight to 12 repetitions, so the usual thing we get recommended in the gym is the exact way to do it. However, some latest research from Schoenfeld and James Krieger have identified that actually we should be looking to trigger 100 repetitions per muscle, not per exercise, per muscle, three times a week to make the ideal amount of stimulation in that muscle mass. This isn't just 100 reps of something easy, this is 100 reps where you can maintain the intensity and it's really challenging by the time you're getting to those top numbers but it allows you to really keep form and keep moving and keep progressing now those 100 repetitions aren't performed just in one set no quite nice and easy way is to pick two exercises perform five sets of 10 repetitions every time you're working towards repetition 10 it's really challenging but you do manage to get there this basically shows that you're using the right weight because it's really challenging still, but also by reaching repetition 10, you're able to maintain good form, good technique, and therefore stimulate the entire muscle as it should. You're not relying on moving those hips or anything like that. Muscle growth is really, really beneficial at the start of every training phase. So if you haven't done any kind of strength and conditioning before, I wouldn't jump straight into power work or strength work. I would look at creating a base of training so you can actually develop the neuromuscular, so the technique of performing a lift, as well as just getting your muscles used to working. You'll notice that you get some DOMS, so delayed onset of muscle soreness, and this usually actually peaks at two days after training, not one day. I have a great story actually. When I first had my real training session with a friend, he took me on a, a program of chest and triceps, a notorious bodybuilding split, and he dropped me off at home and he said, in a couple of hours, pick you up and we'll go for dinner. Funnily enough, I went home, tried to have a shower and I'd worked so hard on my first real training session, I was having to swing my arm up to try and wash my body because I was completely dead to the world from training so hard. So do bear in mind that programs should be progressive. Don't go in at the deep end, try and progress. So each time you overload a little bit so you can make some improvements in your lifts week on week. But remember, it's about a trend. You won't necessarily PB every single week, but every eight weeks, we should be aiming to show and demonstrate some improvements across the board. Right, I hope that's been useful. Please remember, click subscribe, hit the like button, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. It's performance underscore physique. You can drop us an email, info at performance physique. My name is Arj, and it was a pleasure speaking to you. Bye-bye.